so to start the side rail you take a piece that as long as you feel comfortable working with i took about 40 feet mm -hmm. um because you need close to probably 120 feet or, or so and i'm just tacking this in Um, I did the same thing as before. I found the middle of the strand um, for these because you'll <coughs> weave them two, twice. You'll weave them two at a time. The main thing about this is that you want to keep it tight, 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 tight. Tight, tight, tight. So um, that was on this side of the chair on the back here. It doesn't really matter what side you start on, but I always just end up starting on the side and you'll bring your cord over here and then on this left side they always recommend that you go over the top one so that's what i always do always go over and then you end up just going over under the whole way This is like the most time consuming part, but it's almost my mo the most favorite because it's, you're like getting close to the end. And at this point, because I have so much cord, I'll pull it through. And you see how there's a cross in here? You wanna make sure that there's no cross no crosses everything is like totally straight and I've got my little clamps here I'll take these two pieces and I'll just clamp it so it stays tight and I'll do that on every side so now that I have this across here, you just want to make sure that it's straight across. You don't need to worry about um, like fitting it in or squishing it or anything. And now what you'll do is you'll go between these two rails and then you'll go through the rails again and then you'll go out. So, and once again, you want to make sure that everything is super tight and that there's no overlaps. And then now you're ready to start your next strand. But before you start your next strand, you need just to make sure that it is super tight. Super tight, super straight, all your strands are 100% good. And then take a clamp that you have and clamp it off. Now this next one that you do, you'll go underneath. So whenever you're starting on this right side, your um, lead strand will always go underneath. Once again, I pull everything out just to make it easier. And you kind of push it back. You'll want to like push it back really hard, but you won't be able to because um, there's just like, there's not enough like tension in these to really make everything stay. So don't really worry about it. So it'll be a little loose at the beginning. And once you start stringing more, it'll get yeah, it'll, it'll be, be tight at the beginning. And then once you start stringing yeah, it, these will be really loose. You won't be able to get them close to to each other. It'll be a waste of your time to try and do that until you've strung once you more. start getting you know four or five more, then you'll be able to get them closer together. So now you have the one that crosses over. You'll want to do the same thing that you did on the other side and go through around twice basically pull all your excess through
make sure that there's no overlaps anywhere, that everything is totally parallel to one another. Now you can release your clamp and you can push everything down so there's no gaps. But that's going to be a little hard on the top because it... Yeah, it will be hard on the top, but um, you will be able to do it on the bottom. And just make sure that everything is super tight. Once again, tighten it up. Now we're on that left side again, where you start your, with your lead strand going over. The wizard's dead. And by dead, we mean sleeping. <laughs> We pulled everything through. We've got an overlap here, so make sure that's good. Get it all parallel. So this side is the same way. We go in. We go around twice. Pull out the excess, uh -oh. which sometimes can be tough. Uh -oh. And um, one thing I always like to do is like just give it a good tug, make sure everything is as tight as you can. Yeah. You can still see it's still hard to get everything yeah, kind of on top of each other. they're still not close to each other. Um, you can release your clamp. Start getting everything super close to each other. The more you do this now, it will pay off later and you won't you won't be messing with the stuff so much and it won't look messy. Everything will look really nice and um, put together. Now I clamped it. And now I can start over. I'm on this uh, right side. So again, my lead strand always goes underneath. Get the little knot we got on the end out. There that's okay. Go. That's gonna happen. It's gonna happen the whole time. Um, we'll pick up on an whenever we run out of string. Then I'll show you how to do the sheet spend knot with two strands. It's little chair help chair helper is awake now. <laughs> Barely. Okay, so here's our other sheet spin knot that is with gotten... the double strand. So we have the double strand here, and basically all I do is I just pretend like this is one strand, <clears throat> and I go in the eye of the needle, like so. I go around the back of the needle, and then I just run it back through. <laughs> and we did clamp that off so we didn't lose our uh, spot or our tightness there and then like this isn't right it's not in the right location so you can kind of just loosen it up and draw it up to where you want it to be and you can keep doing that until she went a little too far that time or until you get it like perfectly where you want it to be. And see, that's pretty perfect right mm -hmm. there in the middle. So then we'll just continue weaving from there, and you have your double stranded <coughs> rope. Our weave was just looking a little too loose, and then it's a little harder to keep everything um, nice and tight on the sides. 
So then Andrew is going to show you here how we take um, kind of a wedge and just kind of hammer the the weave up, try and get things nice and tight again. Now once you get towards this outer edge is when it gets hard for it to stay. So, you know, we weaved, what, four or five rows, and then we started hitting that over so that we can try and keep it nice and tight. You don't want to weave too many across or you're going to just end up with way too loose of a weave on the sides. So, And you can see that right here we're all really tight, and mm -hmm. then up here we're also really tight, and yeah. that's really indicative of a good weave. You don't want there to be a whole lot of gaps. Yeah. So just be careful as you're as you're weaving across. Make sure once you get a, several rows in that you're uh, making sure the that weave is getting tightened up as you go. And yep, we're gonna keep at it here, and that's pretty much it. I mean, we're gonna keep weaving, and then when we get to the end, we'll probably just be tacking it on one of the sides. So sure. we'll show you that, but. It's pretty self-explanatory, but that's all for now. Bye. Okay, so we finished weaving the chair many hours later. <laughs> yes. And um, we finally finished up on this last lace. And then what we did is we um, pulled it through here and then pulled it around just like we were going to do another one. And then you remember that that one was from when we ran the front. Right. And then we will go ahead and we will tack them both down here. One of the videos we watched was talking about holding it. Just to get it started, hold it with something. Helps. There she is. I might put two more in there. That is it finished. We didn't film a lot of it because it's just time consuming and frankly kind of annoying to try and film all of it. But when you're starting here, it's kind of rough to try and keep it all pushed over. But this middle section, actually once you get about here, it starts becoming pretty easy and you can just kind of use your fingers and get it nice and tight. And then you can kind of see now that it's actually a little bit tighter here in the center. And I actually, looks like I kept my side even too tight to the side. So when we're done here, you can kind of bring it over if you want. We might have to grab the hammer and the wedge and, and kind of just make sure some of these gaps are a little closed. And I assume once you sit on it some, some of these other gaps will kind of spread themselves out and become more even, but that, is it. We have a third finished chair. Everything looks pretty good. You can see a couple spots where we had to uh, tie in some extra cord, but other than that, very clean looking. I think we did a pretty good job. High five.